Now in previous videos we've set up our settings and we've set up some MIDI tracks. Now we're going to talk about Halion Sonic SE which has all the sounds that we're going to be working with. This little button here is the edit instrument button and that will open up Halion Sonic. If that button isn't there or that little screen, that section isn't there, it might be because somewhere along the line you've ended up closing those controls. All you need to do is select where it says MIDI at the top, click it once and then it opens it back up. Now Halion Sonic for some reason always defaults to this really annoying synthesizer sound. Now we can change that and change any of the settings here by clicking on the arrow and this will bring up all of the settings that it says first there. I'm going to change that to piano and this gives me access to all the different piano sounds. So if I click on uh, a sound once, what it will do, it will preload it. You can see it loading there and then if I play on the keyboard if I click on any other sound they're all kind of, some of them have got weird names electric piano sound but the sound that I'm going to go for is the one right down at the bottom because I really like it is the Yamaha piano sound a nice piano and then if I want to go to MIDI 2 I can click on that little arrow and let's say I want a bass sound I can write in bass and then if I click on it once it will choose a uh, double bass now the reason that's happened that it's playing the piano is because I haven't selected MIDI 2 so I need to select MIDI 2 Try another bass sound. Just scroll down here. They've all got a lot of them have got weird names because they're mainly sort of dance based. Fat Rat. So I can select that, and you see Fat Rat is now there. And if I go back to MIDI 1, that gives me my piano. If I go to MIDI 2, that gives me my bass. And then I can go through all the different various channels here and I can select in, uh, let's say, let's do one more uh, kit. Let's have R&B kit and select MIDI 3. And I can choose whatever sounds I want by clicking on these arrows. Now all of the rest of the Halion Sonic screen we don't need to worry about. There's lots of editing tools and all sorts of stuff which uh, uh, is beyond us at the moment.